Hello mga ka-everything! Ito na, dumating na ang ating Android TV box from Lazada. So, nabili ko siya ng sale worth 800 pesos plus 50 pesos sh shipping fee. So, guys, medyo uh, sira-sira yung box due to the um, carrier. But, I hope um, okay yung unit sa loob. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell below para updated kayo sa ating mga videos. So, itong Android TV box na to is 110.1, uh, 4GB ang RAM plus 32GB naman ang memory. So, it is Wi-Fi capable with 2.4 and 5G. So, meron siyang My Family application, CPU 64-bit, and... Um, 4-core or quad-core ang kanyang processor. And compatible siya for 4K videos. So, tingnan muna natin yung box niya. Let's try to open. And inside the box, you have the manual or introduction how to use the Android TV box. Second is um, a specific getting starter guide or Android TV user manual para naman sa Android TV box natin. So, ito ang ating Android TV box unit. The MXQ Pro 5G which is a 4K version. So, sa ilalim yung MAC address, we have uh, different ports. At the back, we have the HDMI port um, and USB port. Same with Ethernet kung gusto nyo siyang i-direct sa router. On the other side, we have additional 3 ports and memory card slots. So, ito ang ating Android TV box unit. Let's try to look for the other accessories. We do have HDMI cable. So, make sure ang TV ninyo is HD, uh, merong HDMI port. At ang kanyang remote, hindi mawawala. So, dito, ito ang gagamitin natin to communicate with our Android TV box. So, hindi included ma uh, ka everything ang battery, which is AAA batteries. So, kailangan yung bumili ito separately. Ito ang kanyang remote. And ang um, power adapter. So, napansin ko US version yung power adapter niya. So, Kailangan nyo pang bumili ng um, plug para magamit ito sa inyong mga wall outlet. So, dito natin ilalagay ang power supply. So, iset up na po natin siya sa ating TV. Unahin na po natin ang ating HDMI cable. Ang isang dulo ay papunta sa ating TV na may HDMI port. At ang kabilang dulo naman ay konektado sa ating HDMI port sa likod ng Android TV box. So, hindi na po kayo malilito ko sa inyo siya ilalagay kasi um, nakalagay po sa likod niya is HDMI port. Power adapter. Lagay na rin natin sa kanyang likuran.
Ilagay na rin natin ang ating batteries sa ating remote. Ayan. So, meaning po kapag umiilaw siya, um, that means uh, napipress or napipindot ang kanyang remote. Magaan lang yung remote niya. So, um, very fragile. Konting ingat na lang po tayo sa paggamit. So, since sabanggit ko nga kanina ang adapter niya is US version, kailangan nating gumamit ng adapter. Sa kanyang power supply. Okay. So, nakita nyo na nag-on na ang ating Android TV box. All you have to do is to go to your TV menu. And then, look for your source. Make sure it's HDMI. Since doon nakakabit ang ating Android TV box. Okay. So, ito na po mga ka-everything ang home screen ng ating Android TV box. So if you notice, um, connect, um, connected na rin siya sa ating internet. Uh, Kinonect ko na rin po siya kanina. So, let's see. So itong on and off ng ating Android TV box. So, we have TV Express which is built in na sa Android TV box. If I'm not mistaken, um, this gives uh, thousands of international channels. So, you have YouTube, Netflix, and different applications built into the Android box. Yes, kung napapansin niyo mga ka everything, meron na rin siyang um, Android or Google Chrome with Play Store. So hindi na po kayo may hirap ang mag-install ng different applications sa inyong t Android TV box. So, click ko yung taas which is settings. Click on adjustments. Hindi nyo siya masyado makita pero adjustments. So, under settings you can connect your Android TV box through the Wi-Fi. You have an option to connect it via Ethernet cable through the Ethernet port. Actually mga ka-everything, um, typical na settings uh, sa mga Android phones ang makikita ninyo. Um, several options are um, probably not um, available since um, TV box ito at hindi um, cellphone. So you can connect it wirelessly um, via VPN. You have your display. networks sound application so ito na mga everything ang storage so uh, nabanggit ko kanina it is a uh, 4 gig of memory or 4 gig of ram and 32 gigabytes of memory Meron, baka meron kayo mas mabiling um, murang version nito which is 1 gig naman ang RAM at 16 gig naman yung memory. But on this version na nire-review natin, it is um, 4 gig and uh, 4 gig of RAM and 32 gig of memory. So you, you can try to log in your Google account. Yan by just adding your account over here. 
that will be used to the Play Store and also to your YouTube account. So ito ang ating Android TV box Android version Nougat Okay, so balik tayo mga ka-everything sa ating um, home page or home screen. So, I tried to add a Kodi. Um, meron tayong um, TV launcher. So, pwede nyo pong install yan through the Play Store. So, let's test um, YouTube kung paano ba siya gumagana. So, it is almost the same sa um, nakikita natin um, YouTube TV application sa ibang Android TV box such as or tulad ng Xiaomi or Roku. So, let's skip the ads. Guys, I must say uh, na maganda ang quality ng videos niya. Kasi supported niya ang um, HD at saka 4K videos. Same with high frame rates, 60 to 120 frame rates per second. So, gamit lang ang ating remote. Um, very specific, up and down, left and right, at okay button sa gitna. You can skip the videos. So, gamit ang ating remote. Uh, meron tayong mouse, um, home button, back button, setup, application, volume down and volume up. At ito ang kanyang mga keypad. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon yung TV Express application. So, um, better, huwag nyo muna i-update. So, no, later. Click nyo lang yun. 
and try to start the TV Express. So, itong TV Express mga ka-everything is magbibigay sa atin ng different international channels na pwede nating panoorin worldwide. So, eto mga ka-everything. Ang example. So, let's try to look for different channels sa listahan. So we have uh, Cinemax HD, Cartoon Network, CNN, um, Comedy TV, Discovery. Guys, maraming channel kayo mapapagpipilian dito. Even Disney is kasama. E wow, ESPN. So mga may hilig dyan ng um, sports. So guys, marami talaga pagpipilian dito. So, exit muna natin. So, gumagana siya mga kapigyan. So napansin ko lang dito no, medyo may pagkalag yung ano niya. Um, from one page to another, but still for its price, it's very worth it. Parang hindi lang natin siguro random yung 4 gig na RAM niya. So first time natin to set up the Google Play. So the account that's been used here is the, the same account dun sa tenes natin na YouTube. So nag-sync na rin siya sa Google Play natin. Yan, so nagre-loading lang siya. To be honest, um, hindi lahat ng application na nakikita nyo dito is um, TV, 100 TV compatible because um, some of these applications are in portrait modes which is designed for mobiles or cell phone, hindi pang TV. So you have your own browser na din, which is the Google Chrome. So guys, dito pwede na rin kayo mag-browse if, if you want to browse Facebook, um, news, um, included na rin siya dito. So, ito ang ating internet connection. So, um, connected siya sa ating um, Wi-Fi. And as tested, um, kumong connect siya sa 5G, which is yung in, um, current connection natin. Guys, sana nagustuhan ninyo ang ating um, review. If um, gagamitin niya siya for YouTube and Netflix alone, yes, I would recommend it. Just to be honest, hindi ko siya recommended for any other purposes. So, sana guys, um, mag naging honest lang ako sa review na to. And it's up to you kung paano yung gamitin ng Android box na ito. So, see you guys to my next video. Bye-bye!